Hello everyone, my name is Lisa, recipe developer of InnoChef Malaysia. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Indian style butter chicken. Okay, Indian style butter chicken is grilled tandoor chicken cooked in a creamy, buttery, tomato based sauce. Okay, there's two parts to this recipe. First, you need to marinate and grill your chicken and the second part will do the sauce. Okay, so first part, chicken. I am using uh, bone-in chicken thighs. So, this is about two and a half pieces of chicken legs. Okay, so essentially one whole leg, you chop it up into six pieces. If your chicken pieces are slightly larger, obviously you just need to cook it a bit longer. So this chicken, uh, we need to marinate it in a yogurt-based marinade. So the ingredients are uh, ginger, garlic, chili powder, turmeric powder, garam masala, cumin powder, salt, and some yogurt. Okay. So traditionally, uh, in Indian cooking, they would use garlic ginger paste. So I don't have garlic ginger paste, but I have the InnoChef Chef Touch. So this is what I'm going to use now. So I'm going to throw in my garlic and ginger. And we're going to chop it up. So as you can see, the garlic and ginger is chopped up. So we're going to scrape everything out and add it into the chicken. Your mixing bowl, there's no need to wash it, leave it. We're going to just use it straight away when we make the sauce. Okay. So in this bowl, garlic, we have ginger. And then I'm going to add the spices. Okay. Chili powder. Turmeric powder. Garam masala. Uh, cumin powder. And uh, yogurt. This is plain yogurt. You can use curd if you have any. Now we're going to mix it up nicely. So once that is all mixed up, we're going to set it aside and marinate for half an hour. Ideally, you want to marinate it longer, but if you don't have time, try to marinate it for half an hour to allow the flavors to penetrate into the meat down to the bone. After marinating your chicken, you're going to need to preheat your oven at 230 degrees at, for 5 minutes. Once your oven has preheated, uh, place the chicken into the oven in the middle rack and then you can roast it at 230 degrees for 25 minutes. While the chicken is roasting, we're going to make the sauce now. Using the same mixing bowl, we're going to chop the tomatoes. Okay, the tomatoes have to be ripe and red. Preferably the good quality one because you want flavour. If you buy the big yellow, not so ripe ones, it won't give so much flavour to the sauce. So now we're going to chop it up quickly for 8 seconds. everything up. That's it. You can see some of the tomatoes are still left in there. I didn't scrape it clean because it's okay. Just take out as much as you can. Okay. Put the tomato aside. Now we're gonna start sauteing our aromatics. So most important ingredient is still the garlic and ginger. Okay. We're going to chop this up quickly. Once that's 
done, we need to scrape. Okay. Now for the sauteing part, you're going to use your mixing paddle. Okay, just insert the mixing paddle. Then you're going to need a red, one red onion. This is a medium sized red onion. One red onion. We're going to use some butter. This is where the name butter chicken comes from, actual butter. If you have ghee and you want to use ghee, you can also use ghee. And some oil. Right. So now we're going to saute this until it's very fragrant and very aromatic. Right, now the onions and the aromatics have been all sorted off nicely. Now we're going to cook the spices and add in the tomatoes. We're going to need some uh, cumin powder, garam masala, coriander powder, chili powder, and the tomatoes that we blended earlier. Now we're going to cook it all up for 10 minutes. Right, the chicken is done. It was roasting at 230 degrees for 25 minutes and this is what it looks like. Because the marinade is high moisture, meaning there's a lot of yogurt, meaning there will be a lot of liquid that come out from the chicken. It's okay. But when we cook it, we are only going to use the chicken but not the pan juices. Why? Because it's going to make your curry sauce very watery. If you like it slightly watery, then go ahead, you can add it in, but I won't. Right, now the tomato sauce is cooked out, we're going to do our final step, which is to add the chicken and the cream. It's hot. Ah, hot! Ah. Okay. Seasoning, I'm going to use salt and sugar. I'm going to add some cooking cream. And lastly, I'm going to add the roasted chicken. The chicken is pretty much cooked already because it was roasting for 25 minutes. So this part is just to marry them together, get all the sauce and the chicken mixed up nicely. So the last bit of cooking is just going to take 5 minutes. Right, the chicken is ready. The smell is really, really good. Now we're going to dish out. Carefully remove your mixing paddle. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, the smell. If only you can smell it through your screen. Right, that's it. So for the final touches, okay, garnish. Take a little bit of cream and just drizzle it around. Like that. And a little sprig of coriander for garnish. That's it. So that's how you cook Indian style butter chicken. You can enjoy it with rice, roti, chapati, pretty much anything you like really. And it's 
best to be eaten with your fingers. It is really delicious, I promise you. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.